The London Symphony Chorus sings Beethoven 9 pretty often. It's the most wonderful piece and it gets more exciting the more often you do it and the greater depth you can give to it in rehearsal. And it's quite unusual to do another choral piece in the same concert. On this occasion, this is with the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra and Gustavo Dudamel, and they are touring the world doing it with Bernstein's Chichester Psalms, which is a piece that the London Symphony Chorus has very close to its heart because they actually sang it with Bernstein and made a very famous recording with Aled Jones as the treble soloist and Richard Hickox, I think, conducting it. The Chichester Psalms by Bernstein, quite a short piece, but quite tricky for the choir. It's in Hebrew, and actually singing in Hebrew isn't that difficult, because luckily all the vowels are the same as in Italian, and the consonants, with one exception, are completely recognisable. So the language is no problem. Um, there is some very fast music, particularly for the men. The men have to be very confident. Luckily, the London Symphony Chorus men are excellent and numerous. So unlike so many choirs, they really can go, la, ma, la, ma, la, ma, la, 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 with about 50 or 60 of them hunting in a great pack. It's a marvellous sound. The women have to be absolutely heavenly and gorgeous. Very difficult to keep in tune, needing a great deal of rehearsal, but oh my goodness, what a wonderful piece. Beethoven 9, as you know, three and a half movements, orchestra only. Then suddenly, for the first time in history, a bass soloist stands up and goes, enough of this, and adds some words to a symphony. Beethoven really had run out of things to say and needed some words, needed to clearly express something at the end of his career. And so the choir joins in, and the music is, I suppose, the single most famous piece of classical music in all history. It's difficult for the choir because although they only sing for 20 minutes, um, a lot of it's very high, a lot of it's very fast. But for symphonic choruses, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony is the central piece. We do it almost every season. I think I've done it 136 times, and honestly, I love it more every time I do it. It's just going to be a huge, great party. And... Hurrah for Europe, it's the European National Anthem. Hurrah for us, for Dudamel, for Paris, for Los Angeles, for the whole world.